Hey guys, what's up? Time for another graphic novel review. Haven't done one in a little bit, but uh, I wanted to do one of this one. And it is Daredevil, Guardian Devil, which I have the Visionaries one, which, uh, it's got a kind of different cover. Anyway, written by Kevin Smith, art by, I'm going to butcher his name, Joe Quisada, Quisada, I know his name, but I'm terrible with saying names, so sorry. Anyway, uh, big Daredevil fan, big Kevin Smith fan, so for me it's two worlds I love coming together. Uh, for those who don't know Kevin Smith, he did Clerks, Clerks 2, Mallrats, Chasing Amy, and has done a lot of comics over the years, and they've all been really, uh, he's a really famous writer, very, very good writer. His uh, very unique style of writing too, which is, for a comic, is really, really cool. Anyway, basic story of this is Daredevil basically inherits a kid and has to protect a kid from all this religious stuff going around him. I'll go into more explanation, but I'll just kind of, I know a lot of people watch these to see if it's good or not. I'll tell you straight up front, it's really good. It's a really, really good Daredevil story. Not quite to the Frank Miller level or anything, but I would definitely say a solid 8 out of 10. It's a very solid book, very fun book. There are some minor problems with the story I have, like... Uh, sometimes the writing is very wordy, which is good, but other times I think we get too much of an explanation of what stuff is from people. And I'll probably go into more detail about that. Uh, the art is incredible almost all the book through. Great art. Uh, but anyway, back to the story. I had to get out of the way, so people that just want to know, is it good or not, will now know. Actual story, though. This kid is being chased. Daredevil saves her, finds out. This kid thinks she had an immaculate birth, had a virgin baby. And Daredevil basically inherits this kid, and she and is trying to protect it as this cult leader comes and tells him that he needs to kill it because it's the Antichrist. And then this other team comes and says it's the second coming of Christ, and it's, of course, a big religious battle. This book has some very huge over- and undertones of religion. Which for the Daredevil character has been done a lot, but this is done in a very interesting way. And there are some interesting turns and twists in this book. And of course, this book's been out for a while now, the series for a while ago, so I'm going to go into some pretty big spoilers. So if you want to read it, haven't read it, uh, don't listen. First and foremost, very famous book for Karen Page being killed by Bullseye. Big spoiler there, I know. I warned you. <sighs> anyway... Karen Page gets killed by Bullseye. It's a moment that some fans hate and some fans love. I love how it's done. I think it's done really cool. And it's after she finds out she has HIV, and it's really, it's done in a very interesting way that shows how far comics have come. Now, where the story really gets interesting is towards the end when you find out who is behind all this. And this is a huge spoiler alert, so if you don't want to know who it is, X out of the video. I already told you what I think of the book. It's an 8 out of 10 grade. Anyway, who's behind it is Mysterio. And it's kind of supposed to be his swan song, his final triumphant as he's been diagnosed with a tumor and cancer. They're not operable, I believe, lung cancer. And he's going to die. He has a year to live. And he basically was going to try to take out Spider Man, but it was during the whole clone saga with Spider Man. And he didn't want to take out a clone, he wanted to take out the real Spider-Man. So instead he settles on Daredevil because he, he remembers fighting him one time and wants to take him out. That was one part of the story that why it's not a higher, because I don't like that explanation. I don't like that he just wanted to take out Daredevil because he felt a kindred connection because he felt they were both B-string heroes and villains. But anyway, it's still very interesting, something that... If you know the story, you'll probably see it coming, but it, it's still a really cool reel. There's also a lot of uh, cool cameos like Doctor Strange and a few other in this book. Something that I do love about the writing is he's not afraid to hint at other stuff. Uh, there's early on in the book, Kevin Smith references, you know, Daredevil leaping a building in a single bound. He talks about the Devil Cave and the Devil Utility Belt. And it's just kind of cool to see references from the DC world interwoven into the Marvel world. It's just interesting you don't see it a lot because a lot of writers, of course, don't want to tread into that water. But anyway, like I said, instead of some of the minor flaws overall, the story is really solid, really good. 
And Mysterio, you find out about his back to what is going on. I got a little sidetrack there. Yeah, it's a swan song, and he just wanted to completely break Daredevil. One of the coolest parts in this story, I think, is Daredevil basically, after all that's happened, basically just telling Mysterio, you didn't break me. You are a second string villain. I am not a second string hero. I am a grade A hero. And you failed miserably. Nothing you've done is original. Nothing you've ever done is original. And I'm not even going to waste the time to kill you. And of course it ends with Mysterio, another big spoiler, killing himself. And it's just done, it's one of these books that in the Daredevil universe is very important because it adds a lot to his mythos and adds a lot to the character. Uh, there's a lot to this book, I just, I would highly recommend it. I don't want to say everything in this review, although I've said quite a lot about it. I haven't even talked about Black Widow in it, which is a huge part of the story. And sorry it still was a bit of a rush, but I wanted to uh, get this review out because there's not a ton of reviews of the Guardian Devils arc on YouTube right now. So, yeah, wanted to get that out there. Tell me, tell me what you guys think of it. If you're a Daredevil fan, do you like it? Because I know a lot of Daredevil fans love Kevin Smith's writing and his stories with them. Some other people absolutely hate him. But I think this is a really good read. It's a very, like I said, because it's Kevin Smith, a heavily written book. It's, it's not like I reviewed The Crow not long ago, and The Crow doesn't have much dialogue in it. This is very dialogue heavy. But the art, I mean, it is just beautiful art and show a little bit of the uh, great artwork here I just love the art in this book anyway like I said 8 out of 10 highly recommended I'll have some more reviews up pretty soon so like subscribe see you guys in another review